Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. The final of the Labyrinth Players Championship Finals. All brought to you by the Professional Dance Corporation. Coming to you live on ITV4 from Butlins, Minehead. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the thousands joining us live and the millions joining us around the world, it's time to meet the finalists. Both players are from England. Firstly, would you please welcome the winner of 17 PDC titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the World Grand Prix, the Grand Slam. He is a World Match Play Champion. The reigning and defending Players' Championship Finals winner. And ladies and gentlemen, the world number one and the reigning champion of the world. Top 10 PDC titles this year. The Premier League champion, the Grand Slam champion, the winner of three World Series titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the World Youth Champion and the World Championship finalist. It's time to meet Luke or Nuke. Boiling point here in Butlins. No bigger matchup in world darts than this. The Luke's going head to head. And if you've been watching us every dart of the way since Friday afternoon, this is your reward. This is the reward for the thousands inside the big arena here in Minehead. And to talk you through it, Chris Mason and John Rawling. Well, we've all been looking forward to this one. The world champion, the world number one, Luke Humphreys, 29 years old now, but he's the outsider in this one against this prodigiously talented youngster, Luke Little. 17 years old, and he's come through with some fabulous performances to get to this final. World Championship final, of course, Luke Humphreys won that one, beating Luke Littler seven sets to four, averaging nearly 104. Then in the Premier League final, 
That was the rematch. Luke Littler taking that 11-7. Now scoring Humphreys. Now wait, what happens in what, for this year anyway, is the major televised final decider. 59. Looking forward to it a bit, Chris? Yeah, I certainly am. I was a, <clears throat> a little concerned with the performance, but he did what he needed to 59. do to get the better of Dirk in the end. But he just didn't, he just wasn't on it, and he's going to need to be on it. 128. From the very off here, because Littler's level of play in this tournament has been remarkable. Considering all the matches he played in the Grand Slam, unless my memory's playing games with me, he 100 plus average in every match. And in this tournament so far, he's had 100 plus average in every match. It's remarkable. The best ever tournament average for the winner of this was Gary Anderson back in 2014. 104.72. At this moment, the tournament average of this lad is 105.21. He's heading, if he wins, maybe for the highest tournament average ever in this Players' Championship final. 92, Luke require 80. His finishing has been equally as good. 50%. 43 from 86. 60. And he's Luke missed that one. And Luke Humphreys with the chance of an early break. Tops. Game shot. And that's nicely done. A 15 darter and it puts him away. Seven, Luke Humphreys to throw first. Game on. One hundred and forty. Humphreys knows, of course, that he has to lift his scoring big time from his semi-final performance, 57. which was a little bit sketchy. Now he knows he's at, got to be absolutely on the money. Yeah, he, he had a spell in there, back to back 12s, which really put an end to the hopes of Dirk. How good was that youth final? One hundred. Terrific, wasn't it? Really, really good. And the crowd knew what was at stake. Yeah, it was massive, but that was the emotion as Jan put so classy, wasn't he? He was classy in that interview with Dan. 131. Brilliant setup. Yeah, double 18 after just 12. And if you're going to beat this young man, this is what you've got to do. You've just got to try and keep him under it. Easier said than done. Luke required 36. Double required. Double 18. Oh, 20 now. Will that be Luke costly? He's furious with himself. Tops. But not there this time. Luke requiring nine. One for double four, and it was his Achilles heel. This is finishing against Dirk. And his tournament numbers are not where he wants them to be. 44. Uh, sorry, 45 from 126. He's down at, he's down at uh, 36%. Yeah, in an ideal world, you'd be up where Lither is, which oh, is, at this moment, his tournament doubling average is 49%. That's significant. 85. Oh, that's special. 100. First of many, I suspect. <laughs> For sure. That we can guarantee. 100. The crowd here in Minehead has been absolutely lapping it up all weekend. Terrific darting action. 43. And everybody hoping that this could be an epic final to bring it all to a conclusion. 59. Luke Rakai, 138. Littler has had the better of it against. Humphreys, 8-5 there, head-to-head -head record. Littler's won 6-2 in terms Luke of TV meetings. But Humphreys has won their last two meetings. 
60. Luca Rakai, 161. 161 for another break. Can't be done now. So Littler with double 10 95. needed to get himself on the board. 20. Doesn't miss this one too often. Well, he has done this time. Game seven to five, Double five gets Four him out of it and into the game. This is their 45. third high-profile meeting in a final. You can never forget the World Championship one, of course, that Luke won. Premier League, which Luke Littler won. 59. Who's going to take the spools here, John? Well, you just know that at some point this is going to really catch 59. fire. Little for Prime Minister. Goodness well, me. Couldn't do any worse. Steady on. Fifty-two. He's had a few of them this weekend well, where just taken a slight deflection and steered it away from the treble twenty. Fifty-eight. Sixty. Both of them averaging shy of 90 at the moment, which is not what we'd anticipated. Yeah, I like that from Luke, just taking a moment just to try and reset. 59. 99. You know, Chris, I think uh, people you know, talk about what does interviews mean and what do opinions count. Well, I think from the Luke interviews that Luke Humphreys has given this weekend, he is certainly burning with desire to prove a point in this final. Yeah, absolutely. Well, when you're world champion and world number one, but all the talks about... Luke Littler and Luke not Luke Humphreys, I suppose he thinks, right, I'll show you. Well, there he goes. Luke Humphreys. Took him 19 darts to get there, but the important thing is that it's another one in the bag, and Humphreys now leads 3-1. 59. They take a break at the end of this leg. 125. And Littler most definitely will not want to go in two breaks down. So winning this particular leg, paramount for him. Yeah, even this early on, although it is a, a race to 11. The game can soon get away from you. 100. I saw Littler go powering away in his semi-final against Ross Smith. Smith came back and kept coming back. 57. Oh, just a... Show how big this final is. Both the 89. manufacturers, head honchos are here. Simon Hall from Wimmore Red Dragon and Gary Plummer from Target. Here to support 100. their, their men. Recline 90. Double 15. 60. Now this is a Luke real Ricoy opportunity for Humphreys to get that second break we're talking about. Needed treble 18 to top. Couldn't quite get it there. He's furious. Luke Ricoy, 30. Think he'll go straight at this. Oh, he didn't. 25. Well... Luke Rikoi, he got it wrong and he got it wrong. Tops now. 36. There's some really jittery darts Luke from Rikoi both sides. Well, neither player has settled at all. Double one. Three. 
He's had one Luke double out of 20. 12, Luke Littler. Double 10 for Humphrey. Yeah, and that's back. another Luke break. Humphrey. It took him a long time to get there. 19 darts. He's averaging 85 against Littler's 80. To say this match in terms of stats has not delivered so far is an understatement. But the big news is that Luke Humphreys, the world champion and world number one, leads 17-year-old Luke Littler 4-1 at the first break. It's the final here in Minehead. Luke Humphreys leads Luke Littler at the first break 4 1. We've talked in match after match about how Luke Littler has looked nervous. Well, he certainly looked nervy so far tonight, and Luke Humphreys has looked a long way from his self assured best, Chris Mason. Yeah, he does got off to a, a bit of a, a steady enough start from, from Luke. 15 darter, that's 72 checkout on tops. And then a pair of 18 dart holds, and then a 19 dart hold from Humphreys, followed by a 19 dart break. 134. All, all equating to averages of 85 and 80. Perhaps for both of them, getting off stage and 
Having chance for a reset. That's a terrific visit. He's exactly what they needed. Yeah, the break. Perfect time for both. 140. Well, Luke does have this ability where he has a couple of different styles of throws. 180. And he's certainly powering through now. Nine darts down to eight. Coming back looking for a 10 dart. Luke to require eight. Luke Littler back on 170. Well, he gets there, uh, Madhouse. Luke Humphreys. But he's away, and that's 5 1. Well, that's a 12 darter. Welcome back. 137. <laughs> best game of the best leg of the match by a distance. Scoring terms and finishing terms. 140. Well, I don't know what he said to himself at the break, but it's certainly working. 100. Yeah, Littler has a couple of different throws. He's using a slightly different throw and so far in this session than the one he used in the first session. 94. Let me switch to leave the 170. Spark some life into it. 137. Well, Luke Humphreys on a finish. 170 we'd seen, but not on this occasion. So Humphreys coming back with 90 65. needed for Luke another break. 90. Yeah, I wonder which way he's going to go. Trouble 20, double 15. He'll stay there. Boom. 65. Luke Littler, 105. Now this is settling down if he can put this away. Top stops needed. There's one of them. Yay, and there's two. Blue Crowd salute that. It was only a hold of throw, but it was the manner in which it was achieved. Absolutely. It will make him feel a whole lot better about himself. One hundred and thirty seven. It's getting a major title here that counts. It's getting one up on his opponent which one counts, whoever it is, and there's maximum number two for Luke Humphreys. But it's getting that real sense of momentum going into the world championships. Yeah, sure is. And it would be a defence of his title, which is Super important to it. 145. Nine darts. Another ten darted them. We wondered where the real Luke Humphreys was. It appears that he's most definitely arrived. Double nine. Game shot the eight man. Eleven darted to add to Nothing the ten darted previously. Six two. Five more needed. He's more than halfway there. 140. But Littler does have the ability to really 93. hit the huge accelerator in his scoring. Yeah, he's, he can just reel off successive legs of, sort of 12 and 13s with ease. He may need to. 83. Humphreys won't be too concerned here because it is the, on the throw of Littler. 133. Humphreys really looks a lot more focused oh, than he was oh, earlier on. No he's head shaking. He's looking for the main prize now. And here comes Littler. Superb! 170! And the two of them touch hands. That's what we expect. Yeah, nice bit of acknowledgement from Luke Humphreys. 59. Poor start. A chance for Littler to really close the gap. How much might that deflate Luke Humphreys? That's not in the trouble 20, that is. He just started to have the look of a man really getting into top gear.
And then Luke Littler produces that. Yeah, just halts him in his tracks. Well, off the back of the break, John, we will get the session average in the next session. 140. But since the break, 12 dart hold from Humphreys, 15 dart hold from Littler, 11 dart hold from Humphreys, 12 dart hold with a 170 from Littler. That's the kind of game we expected. It was distinctly prosaic in the first five legs. What now they're five. motoring. Little not on a finish, of course. One hundred and thirty-eight. Luke requires fifty-seven. Tops, two darts in hand. Huge darts. And he's missed it. Luke requires forty. For a break back. Another crucial dart. Game time. Certainty about that. The two of them have really arrived now. And what a five-leg session of darts that was. World champion, world number one defending champion, Luke Humphreys has the advantage. But Luke Littler has started to get the eye of the tiger slightly. Humphreys leads. It's 6-4.
7-3 would have looked very handy indeed for Luke Humphreys. But on 170, Luke Littler had other ideas. What a checkout and how vital in the context of the match. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the feel-good factor from hitting a 170 at a key moment. Certainly backed it up with a 13 dart break after Humphreys missed two at tops for 7-3. He was on 145 when the 170 went in for Littler, but you never know. To throw first. Game on. That's a throw to close it to within one. And he certainly found his range. 140. It is really tightening up now, this match. And the scoring is getting bigger and bigger. 140. Oh. What a difference. Session makes. <laughs> Does it ever? Between legs six and ten, so off the break. Both averaging a shade over 116. Wow. 140. It's like somebody turned on the light, isn't it? The initial five legs is terrific reading. Look at the last it's five. Like, it's like there's four different players out there. The two that played session one to five, and then the, the real Luke's turned up from six to ten. Luke Littler could do this. He can now. Bullseye. And there it is. Following up the 170 to 164. And listen to what this Minehead crowd makes of that. Well, finishing against Ross Smith was staggering at times, but... Two of the big three finishes already done in this match. They're only missing a 82. one six seven. Well, it's going to be a test of the confidence, focus, and resolve now of Humphreys. Little on a roll. Go trouble 20. Yeah, that would have left the 167. Who knows? Sixty. It's on a knife edge now, really, this match. Humphrey still with the advantage of a break. 171. And that's as good as a maximum and a fabulous setup. Three one eight. He's got a one seven seven. Luke requires thirty six. Game two. Oh. Thirteen Luke dot Humphrey. leg. Luke Humphries extends his lead. Game on. Yeah, just got almost just keep him at arm's length. And just try and get over the line. One hundred and eight. Littler is on a mission. Three maximums apiece. 100. And after that dismal start in the first five legs, Luke Humphreys now averaging over 101. And Luke Littler is closing in on the ton himself. Yeah, he's put 19 points on his average Littler after session one. 140. Luke Humphreys has put 17 on his. 134. Another phenomenal piece of power scoring from Littler. 47 after just nine 140. darts. 140. Luke required 47. Saw a 13 darter from Humphreys. Now tops for an 11 darter. Yeah, Make it 12. Luke Littler goes one better. <laughs> 100. They come down here to Minehead to party, but they also come down here with huge darts knowledge. And I think everybody here knows exactly how th how much this one means. It's one of the biggest darty parties out there, isn't it? Stop whistling, thank you.
We don't need that. Find him and throw him out in the ring. Two throws in a row. They've done that to Humphreys. Yeah, he pulls it after Dart won in the 81. previous visit. He's furious. He's lost concentration as well, more to the point. Let's hope security makes sure that whoever did that has an early exit. One hundred. Luke require one hundred and thirty one. He's done this already, hasn't he? In this tournament. Fifty five. Luke require eighty six. Eighty six for a hold of throw. This is big. It's gonna be eighteen ball. How Double seven. Get that in there. Risky. Game oh, that's that's superb. Luke Humphrey. Fifteen points the level to throw first. Chris Mason was almost over, open mouthed in slack jawed admiration of that well, second dart. It was just, honestly, it was so good. Well, they're just exchanging. 134. Holds a throw. They've not had a break since the 13 darter for Littler in leg 10. And both of them now, well, momentarily they were over 100, but Humphreys right up there. 134. Shaping up to be, by a distance, his best performance of the championship. If he maintains this. 125. Well, there's a real break opportunity here. So 63. Luke require 136. Great darts. Double eight now. Yeah, How yeah, about yeah, that? 136. Yeah, Brilliantly done. Admiration from Humphreys is being played in a cracking spirit up there, which is really good to see. Luke Humphreys leads at the break, still with the advantage of a break of throw. He's leading the stage, leading Luke Littler 8-7. And in the next session, we play to the finish.
Luke Littler needed another huge check out. It's his fourth over a ton. This time, 136 to add to the 170, the 164 and the 105. And the two of them know just how good that was. But Littler is having to produce these phenomenal checkouts to stay with Humphreys, who's clearly raised his game big time. Yeah, an average of 102.92. And the reason that Littler's skipping in there, and it's only 8-7, you're on. An array of big finishes, 170, 164, 105, and that 136 we've just seen a, a repeat of. Humphreys comes back with his fourth maximum. He's also had a 171 and a 177. One hundred straight away, turning the screw. He wants to re-establish that little cushion. He's uh, as aware as anyone how quickly he can turn things around. Look at the way in which the game has improved. The further it's gone, the pair of them struggling hugely early on, and now in the two-five leg sessions that followed in each of them Humphreys averaging over 116 100. and Littler not far behind him. It's turning into a very special game which is what we expected. 49. It's only just in the 20. But it leaves him on 32. 89. Well this is for Look the for cushion that we're talking about. Double 16. Working in, Game and gets it with the third dart. Yeah, doesn't want to be given. Let's like go at one, two, five. The, the mood is in. He's finishing. So he just needs two more now. Luke Humphries. One hundred and thirty-nine. Two more holds. The break would be a bonus. Ninety-eight. Troublous visit. Can he jump all over that? 100. Big deflection, and he didn't jump over it quite as emphatically as he might have wished. 96. Should be, should be down on 19s. 133. Well, we've seen Luke Littler find a 170. If Humphreys finds one now, it will do huge damage. There's one. There's... No, it's just low. He thought it was in as well. A case of what might have been, eh? Luke requires 108. Still a bit to do for Littler. Or is it going to be a fifth? Ton plus out. Oh. Well, that leaves 106. Can't be done in two darts. Well, I'm no lip, no lip reader, but I suspect he wasn't too seven. impressed. Humphreys now 40. tops for 10-7. He's Game almost seven. there. Seven. Only one more needed Luke for the world number one, the defending champion Eighteen. and the Eighteen. world Eighteen. champion. Game on. One hundred and thirty-seven. will be Humphrey's sixth major title and the first of which that he'll have defended if he takes this. Remarkable. 96. Will Grand Prix, Grand Slam. This one, the Worlds of course. Whoa. And the match play. He's gone early <laughs> Another 128 to 140. And still got to get there. Littler doing all he can to put the pressure on. Needs a treble. Finds 93. one. 93. Luke to require 140 for the match. 
Oh, that, that first time in trouble was absolutely Mr. perfect. If he, if he walked up and placed it, he put it right there. Double A team for tops. 54. Three match starts. Humphreys is close to the victory he craved. Damn. And there it is. Luke Humphreys. Yes, he says, as he headbutts that ball. To an extent, maybe, Chris, he's proved a point tonight. Outstanding performance from Humphreys. A lot of people were saying that Luke Littler maybe now is the true world number one. Well, Luke Humphreys, the outsider in this match, he rubbish that. Yeah, did it in some style in the end. It was a really edgy, nerdy start, and then they came out from that first initial break, just went through the gears and put on a, a real show for us in the fans. I predict a riot is the old Kaiser Chiefs classic, adopted by Luke Humphreys. Not a riot, but it was a bit of a blitz that he produced in the latter stages of that, the way in which he accelerated with his scoring after the first five legs was tremendous. Yeah, it's just an, an array of 180s, a 177, a 171. But credit to Lindner, he put, in a, he put in a shift himself, finishing with an average of in excess of 100. Family of both players here tonight. And now we are ready for the presentation and a great moment for Luke Humphreys. We'll join John McDonald. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. An amazing final. And now it's time for our presentation. Would you please welcome, on behalf of our title sponsors, Labrooks, Vicky Galpin and Zoe Hunt. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our runner-up, receiving £60,000 in the trophy. And it goes to Luke, the Nuke, Little. Luke, we'll get to the pictures, don't worry about that. A sensational campaign. A brilliant final after the first five legs. It's probably that that made the big difference, isn't it? Yeah, um, it was tough. Missed a few doubles. Um, even Luke himself could have been 5-0 up. Myself, I could have been. Um, but if you don't take chances early on, it's a lot to come back. Uh, I know I hit the 170, the 164, but I just didn't, didn't have enough in the end. It brings an end to an incredible winning streak you've been on. But with the Grand Slam, the Premier League, the, the World Series, right? look, it's the debut year of dreams for you. This doesn't take any gloss off it, does it? <laughs> yeah, just like Luke said, he said he need, needs to take advantage before I start winning them. Uh, I don't blame him, Sam. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no, it's, it's been a good past two weeks. Um, I just can't wait. Can't wait to go home, chill out, obviously practice at home for the world. And yeah, that's it now, leading up to the big one. Yeah, the big one, and you're in the same half of the draw as Luke. This whole weekend, it's been dominated by Luke v. Luke, Jack. You did meet in the final, but this is going to be a regular occurrence, isn't it? You knocking lumps out of each other in big games. Yeah, we, we always produce our best against each other. Um, but, like I said, that first session, I, just, I didn't have enough to get it back, and Luke took full advantage, um, so fair enough to him. Ladies and gentlemen, your runner-up after a sensational weekend, Luke Vanuke Littler! And now, ladies and gentlemen, our winner, receiving £120,000, the incredible trophy, and for the second time in his career, we crown him the Labrooks Players Championship Finals winner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the world number one, Luke Humphrey!
Congratulations, Luke. The defending champion, you've kept hold of this one. How does that feel? You've seen my living room about a couple of months ago. No, I got it back. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really proud of that one, to be honest. I didn't feel myself this week, like, playing-wise. I kind of felt like uh, I was a dart behind in a lot of the scenarios, but there's something that Luke does to you. He really drives me. He uh, makes me want to be a better player. Um, and I enjoy playing him, obviously. He let me in really early in that first session to go 4-1 up, but... Uh, I never looked back and I'm kind of really proud of the way that I, n I didn't take my foot off the gas like I had this whole weekend. A lot of the games, you know, I've took my foot off the gas and allowed people to come back at me. I was very fortunate against Dirk, but I, I rode my luck, got into the final and I, I was in my comfort zone. You know, these big games is what I live for, it's what I dream of. Being major champion, you know, this is what, this is what, this is what I do it all for. This is why I, I travel the world for these moments and uh, really, really pleased with a special you know, mention to Luke. Is, uh, Fantastic game again, you know, them finishes were unbelievable. Uh, he's just a special talent, he was right, I said to him, I've got to get these early before it's, uh, it's nanites and I don't win any. So yeah, I was really, really pleased to beat him there. Look, we've seen you take apart the best players in the world, playing at your best. We know what you can do. But when you come here and you've played until about six legs into the final, your B game, and still managed to defend the title, that says something, doesn't it? Isn't that just as satisfying, maybe even more satisfying. Yeah, uh, you know, it is satisfying, of course. I'd love to be up here and hit 105 averages like Luke is all the time, but he's a different calibre. He's probably the best player in the world right now. It's easily admitted, you know, with st you go by stats. He's easily the best player in the world, but there's something about me that never gives up. And, uh, you know, as much as he is the best, I know I could beat him, he knows he could beat me, so this is a great way to go in the Worlds now. I think a lot of people probably thought Luke was going to win this one in the Worlds, where we like unpredictability in darts, and that's what we've got over the last few months. And I think that now we've got that in the world. Who's going to win, me or Luke? Or is it going to be someone else? Who knows? You have to find out. We're in a, a strange time in the world of darts because we don't know where the next winner is going to come from, but you two appear to be the top boys. What's that like with all of these guys chasing you, new major winners, and of course him pushing you over and over and over again? Yeah, I said to Luke there, I said, it, there's a lot of pressure on our shoulders, you know. Like everyone kind of expected a, a like a 110 average game there, but it's kind of hard to do it after a long day. And, uh, you know, when you're playing the, the best player in the world and he's playing one of the best players in the world, it's hard to perform and be at that 110 average. So, you know, I thought it was a decent game after the first five or six legs, but, uh, you know, I think we're two players now that have to go on. And I think, he, you know, he's made me a bit hungrier to, to maybe try a bit harder to practice more to work out because if no one sticks with him he's going to win everything so maybe I'm that guy that can stick with him and you know have a good run over the next five to ten years but uh, I do believe they're the two best players in the world and you know I've, I'm going to have to keep working hard to, to keep up with them. The two best players in the world have served up a brilliant final for you Minehead. I give you your champion and still the players champion, the world number one, the world champion, Coolan Luke Humphrey!